In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It doesn't take very long to realize that being an Orthodox Christian has nothing to do with a self-help program. We are never in self-help, ever. And it's illustrated today by the Gospel reading. One of the verses really sticks out, I think, in many ways to kind of illustrate that point. The people who have sat in darkness have seen a great light. Theophany, or Epiphany, is called the Festival of Light. It is all about light. And it's interesting, those who sat in darkness saw a great light. We do not see the people pursuing the light or seeking the light. It's as if the light is pursuing them. And this light, as we well know by experience, is the light of Christ. Jesus says, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God being the power and essence of Jesus Christ. It is the practice of the virtues, which stems from not our own doing, but by the very fact that the light literally encompasses us totally in our being. It fills us, penetrates us, surrounds us. This is the gift that we received at baptism and chrismation when we received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And we see this manifested in very many ways. Once again, we are not a self-help program. St. Paul can illustrate that in his letter to the Ephesians. He's saying that we have been equipped with whatever we need for our mission. We are equipped. We don't pursue it ourselves. We are literally bestowed these gifts. But we know that the gifts that we receive and we know that Paul illustrates that when he talks about some people are, are chosen to be apostles, some to be teachers, pastors, ministers. You would see also in very many forms. And since we all share in the priesthood of Christ, we have been all been given those gifts as well. And isn't it amazing when you think about it that this very light of Christ, this light which illumines us, and leads us on the way to the fullness of life is freely given to us. And all we need to do is to open our hands and receive it. But there's something in addition to this. There's a condition, in a sense, of receiving this light fully. And that is when Jesus says to us today, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. As we talked about last Sunday, repentance is not just about feeling sorry for our sins and asking for forgiveness. We always are called to look beyond repentance because what does repentance do? It basically allows us to receive the light. We know that sin obscures our vision. It gets in the way. When we repent and we know that God is all merciful, he gives us this newness of life again. Again and again and again, he reaches out his hand to us and, re and reaches to us, grabs us by the hand, and brings us back up again. He does this every time. There's no limit to what he does with his mercy in our lifetime on earth. And we know that in this mercy, he basically gives us sight. He gives us a way of looking and seeing that is reality. Sin obscures the reality. We start seeing things through a filter. Jesus, through the action of the, of the Holy Spirit, who is light, removes these blinders and allows us then to glory, not only in God's mercy, but his love for us, but also that he has called us, each and every one of us, for a mission. Each and every one of us has been given this gift. We have been equipped as saints, we are no different than the Ephesians. We are equipped for the mission. And when we are equipped for the mission, immediately, if not sooner, the light is given to us to lead us and illuminate us so that we can fulfill the mission. In a sense, let's put it this way. We have that promise, right? That we do our part and God always completes what is lacking. That's the promise. So when the Lord puts us in various situations, and you know, we know this by experience, when God puts us in various situations, 
we wonder how did we get here and I'm encountering this particular person or situation this is the place in which God is calling us to be his ambassador of love we are in a very real sense reflections of that light who is Christ we are a reflection of that light and so then we become light and we know in this world of darkness at times we are sent forth to be that light and sometimes we are we are sent into the belly of the beast sometimes it seems like but we know that Jesus tells us do not be afraid I am with you and he also reminds us so we don't get into the self-help thing or white knuckling our spiritual journey Jesus tells us without me you can do nothing but imagine the possibilities what God can do within us at the service of our brothers and sisters but also receiving that peace first remember Saint Seraphim Sarov says receive the peace within you and a thousand will be saved around you be at peace within you a thousand will be saved around you it's an amazing statement but that is true so we receive first and then we share that with others and sometimes we wonder or sometimes we we wonder how do we get here and then we get to the point sometimes maybe we start getting um, you know Lord let me see this person as you see this person because I'm having a hard time with this and the Lord comes to our rescue as well and all of a sudden what seemingly was perhaps a judgment put on this person becomes then an exercise in compassion and love and it's, it's the Lord's doing he's so generous he gives us this light abundantly extravagantly he is sharing this light with us and so every day when we get up you know we can pray for that light again you know Lord let me Lord help me receive your light and help me to be your light today and the Lord will graciously grant us that request our Lord in our relationship with the Lord we are it's a very personal thing it's not just a deity up there you know it's not just God beyond you know somewhere out there it's a very personal thing our relationship with God and God makes it personal because he always makes the first move and then he calls us to respond to his first move by just opening our hearts and receiving and then from that receiving we become the giver and there's the finally there's the promise that we never run out of gas here God is constantly replenishing us and strengthening us and helping us there's no end to it and so all you have to do is just open our hearts in humility and say sometimes Lord I can't but you can and you promise the blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind always now and ever and unto the ages of ages